He kept hearing buzzing from the walls of his home, and then he found strange notes. Tar Poppy, a contributor on Reddit, shared a story that would not only spook the readers, but leave them with an unsettling feeling that this strange incident could happen to them. Tar Puppy was home alone for nearly a month while his family was away on a cruise when he started to experience some seriously bizarre and terrifying situations. In the end, cops would have to rummage through the entire house, leaving it quarantined. Suffering from anxiety, Tar Puppy was feeling a little anxious on his first night alone. Nothing crazy was happening, so he began to settle down. He was Netflixing all night, hoping he would eventually drift off to sleep. After tossing and turning for hours, he decided to go downstairs and make himself a cup of hot cocoa to try and soothe him. Stepping outside to get some fresh air, he wasn't aware that he was being watched. His real-life nightmare was about to begin. As he was outside enjoying his cocoa, he remembered he left his cell phone inside and he felt naked without it, as many people do these days. He set his cup on the edge of the deck and ran back inside to grab it. Locking the deadbolt behind him just in case, he would realize that was the best decision of his life. Things were about to get dangerous. He went back for his cup, only to realize it wasn't where he originally left it. Instead of being on the edge of the porch ledge where he left it, he noticed it was about six feet away from the front door. Panic set in because he knew that meant someone had moved it, he was terrified. With adrenaline running through his body, he knew he was in danger. He rushed back into the house and slammed the door shut, locking it as quickly as he could. The hairs on the back of his neck were standing up, and he was frozen with freight. He decided to look out the peephole because he heard loud footsteps as if someone was running towards him. To his utter shock, staring right back at him was a black shadow-like figure. It began to pace back and forth, muttering words he couldn't quite make out. He ran around the house looking for his father's gun. When he found it, he ran back to the door but the figure was gone. In the morning he gathered enough courage to go outside and try and grab the mug. He ran out there only to find the mug emptied, with just a note left inside. The note read something chilling and it read, let us in. Readers were terrified for Tar Puppy and were hoping he would update and say everything was okay. However, when he updated his original post, it wasn't full of good news. His ominous words left readers gasping at the events that would unfold, it's become clear to me that I am a pawn forced to play in a very sick game. Who was messing with him? And for what purpose? Unfortunately for this guy, he was about to get the answers to these questions, and it wasn't going to be pleasant. The second incident happened when he came home early from work one afternoon, ready to relax with a movie and pizza. He headed towards the fridge to grab something to drink when he noticed the fridge was slightly open. He knew he hadn't left it open before he left the house, and that feeling of panic began to set in again. Then, his dog started to bark ferociously outside, so he eagerly went to check on him. Out of the corner of his eye, he realized that his cutting board wasn't in the right spot. Chills went down his spine as he looked over at the counter, realizing there was another note. Terrified to read it, he forced himself to reach his hand out and grab it, when my eyes fixed and focused on what it was, it hit me so hard it put the deepest crack in the hull of my sanity and instantly began filling it up with fear and anxiety. The note read, I told you. Looking around, he didn't see any obvious signs of forced entry. He frantically checked every room to see if someone was still in the house, but again, found nothing. He was utterly terrified but wasn't sure what to do next. He locked all of the doors, let the dog inside, and decided to call the cops, he wasn't going to risk anything anymore. He reached in where he knew the family shotgun was stored, only to realize it was missing. He began frantically looking for something to protect himself with while he waited for the cops. He shared his experience with Reddit users, she wasn't there. I'm not going to lie. I threw up in my mouth the second I didn't feel my fingertips touch steel. I was certain I was dead. I desperately adopted this crackpot dream of trying to actually find something, anything to be able to defend myself with against a lunatic using my own gun. As he ran into his room, he found something that stopped him in his tracks. Lying on his bed was the missing shotgun. Neatly placed on my bed, the shotgun. My mind flips upside down. 
I was so confused, I had no clue how to even start processing it. So I didn't. I just slammed and locked the bedroom door, and began clearing her like a madman he said. The cops couldn't get there fast enough, his heart was beating through his chest as he feared for his life. Soon, they pulled up to the house and knocked on the door screaming, police. He ran as fast as he could to the front door to let the cops in, startling them with his intensity. So much so, that he felt they were looking at him as the intruder, from that moment on, they treated me as if I was the person they should be worried about. After letting them inside, I had to prove I lived there. They searched the house and found nothing. Searched the backyard, found nothing. Even made them check the attic. They found nothing, and they were all stumped. The cops suspecting he was on drugs, so they demanded to see the notes. But when he went to grab the first one, it wasn't there. It's not where I last left it, and nowhere to be found. The son of Abich took his first note, he went on. Since they found nothing, they decided to leave but told him he should call if anything happened again, as they left, they reassured I could call again if something happens, but hinted I would regret the next time I wasted their time. They drove off, and as they disappeared into the night, so did my sense of security. As the night went on, he knew there was no way he was going to sleep. He started to hear things that would prove rather disturbing. He decided to set up multiple traps, so that if someone found their way in, they wouldn't go unnoticed. Luckily, for the next few nights, nothing happened. There was no sign of the intruder, but that didn't mean that Tar Puppy was going to get any sleep. It sounded as if his neighbors were partying because there were loud noises coming from their house. The next morning, he awoke to a horrendous sight, cops surrounding the neighbor's house, and a statement saying there had been a double homicide. What's even more disturbing, is there was a note left at the murder scene matching the MO of the intruder. Now, things were starting to really get serious and his guard was up at all times. He continued to set traps around his house, but he had to return to work, he couldn't stay home forever. As he was working a busy shift, nothing seemed out of the ordinary, except for the fact that he couldn't shake the feeling that someone was watching him. One of his single top tables had a man that was intensely watching him. After some conversation, he determined that the man just must have thought he was cute, nothing crazy. When he left the bill he left a cash tip, and something else more ominous, a note. The note read, I will get in. He couldn't believe his eyes, and terror filled his entire body again. At this point he knew the police needed to be contacted again, so he called them, and let them examine the notes, I got the police re-involved, and was able to give the detectives both notes which they gladly took to cross-examine over the one left at the murder house. Instead of receiving help from the cops, he became a suspect who was eventually questioned and interrogated. He was released but he would soon face another problem. He had been hearing strange noises in the walls of the house. He wasn't sure if he was going crazy, or if it was a part of the sick game this intruder was playing. Using his ears against the walls, he found out that there was a giant beehive taking over the house. It was going to cost thousands to remove them, and essentially ruin a major portion of the walls. As if that wasn't bad enough, the excavators were about to find something way worse. When they were clearing out the beehive, they found toxic black mold living within most of the walls. Black mold is so dangerous that the company had to call the CDC and eventually the house was quarantined until it could all be removed. His nightmare had just gotten worse and now his parents were on the way home, returning to a disaster. He couldn't get one thing off his mind after this discovery however. Did all of that craziness really happen or was the black mold driving him insane? He never updated his Reddit page after these postings, so we won't be able to make a solid conclusion, but there is reason to believe that the mold did play a part in what was happening in his house however, it doesn't explain the murders at the neighbor's house. One thing is for sure, either way, this story sending chills down our spines.